Okay, people, I think I need to say a few things, and I think I also need to just give me a moment to do so. There, mission accomplished. <laughs> uh, yeah, best LP. So, um, I honestly don't really know what's going on. In the previous two videos, you saw an uneven frame rate. I am now back on the. Uh, oh, reduce my voice a little. There we go. Um, yeah, back to my other uh, laptop that I don't really want to use for recording. It is using a different uh, version of the capture software than what I had on my PC, but I seriously don't think that's the problem. So. Uh, in the meantime, while I try to figure out what exactly is the problem, um, yeah, just uh, be a little afraid <laughs> of the combination of Elgato capture stuff and AMD's new Ryzen CPUs, and possibly their graphics cards. Uh, well, it's the, the RX 580, but. Um, well, also, by the way, I also set the, uh, uh, we use sound output back down to stereo instead of surround sound, which I had before, which was also not a problem before, but, uh, well, I did it anyway to play it safe. And, uh, yeah, uh, one little extra thing, oh, the cutscene started here already, I'll just talk about it later then. Looks a lot bigger up close, doesn't it? And this was just the habitat unit. The white whale was one hell of a ship. Until it all came crashing down, at least. That's the west gate. It's closed off now for security reasons. But we've repurposed a freight elevator that will get us inside. <laughs> Oh yeah, we've got trouble. Oh, oops. <laughs> oh, random jump? Why the hell not? Yeah, if uh, my combat performance is a little um, lacking, uh, keep in mind that uh, the way my laptop is positioned, it is actually blocking, uh, well, a part of the screen where I can see um, some of these art icons. That's, you know, oops. Oh, that's the button I was looking for. There we go. Easy PC, first boss fight. It's a shame we had to settle near so much wildlife. Luckily, some species aren't so hostile, but they aren't necessary either. I've come to learn that there's a fine line between self-defense and provoking a fight. We need to walk that line. All right, let's... Who knows, maybe seeing the inside will jog your memory. Okay. Um, almost ready with the... Done with the pro-war and survival shirt. 
not the best item. Uh, let's see, open the menu with start. Right. <clears throat> yeah, it, it's been a while since I played the game. Okay. Let's see, probably got body wear. Worn survival shirt. Does it do anything? Hmm. Yeah, it does. Well, let's see. Huh. Wow. Now I see how much it improves the element, well, the attribute resistances. I'm taking it. Let's see, um, anything else? Well, I guess I could say that when when I get to this, well, usually, although I've only played it twice, of course, um, it's, uh, it tends to be nighttime right now, and it's um, really quite nice time of the day to arrive at New LA on. Um, but uh, there were, were a few more things I wanted to get out of the way. Uh, I mean, it may have sounded like I, well, tried to really, well, criticize, shall we say, the uh, Xenoblade base game. So there's, I mean, not Chronicles Cross, it's the Xenoblade Chronicles and Chronicles 2. Um, that's kind of not an accurate uh, description. The point is, I, well, my, you know, disposition. Uh, my gaming preferences um, is that I just do not enjoy playing open world games. Um, like, of course, the single player games are. Uh, so, uh, I mean, Single Player Chronicles and uh, Chronicles Cross, I mean, they. Well, they, they are, you know, good games for what they are. I mean,. Uh, and it, considering the limitations of, of the hardware and the uh, things they had to, well, and the compromises they probably had to juggle, they did uh, arrive with two really serviceable games in, uh, in you know... Okay, maybe you don't like all the gameplay mechanics and uh, how, you know, the, how the controls respond and that kind of thing, but... Um, I mean, they're not bad games, I just don't enjoy playing them. And uh, that is because I personally feel that these open world games, they tend to have a very, very... Uh, I'm, just, I'm trying to look for a word here. In a Swedish we have the means... Uh, uh, yeah time and distance to the other with nothing interesting happening away. Uh, that's basically what I feel about most of the, of the Xenoblade Chronicles games. Between the plot points, uh, between, uh, you know, story developments, there's just a whole ton of running back and forth with nothing really interesting happening. That's... Uh, I don't feel that this is a, uh, you know, valuable use of my <laughs> free time, honestly. I mean, not that uh, video gaming uh, should be considered a valuable use of time, but, you know, <laughs> there are highs, there are lows, and I just do not enjoy what open world games bring to the table. Which, I mean... Which is not to say that people should not enjoy them, it's just that I don't. <laughs> um, oh yeah, a new friend? Yes, I am absolutely a new friend. So, the west gate that he's talking about is of course the great big uh, bulkhead you saw uh, on the screen. Mm -hmm. supposed to be doing now it's just um, going up the elevator and now I kind of want to get up there before night time so I think I need to get a move on here um, sorry let's see elevators because monolith ah, just look at the world hey If there, it, 
the next scene you know, or whatever game has no pun in it, I'm not playing it for any reason. I don't care how good it is, I don't care how serious it is, I don't care how many mechs there are. I I have had enough of the Nopan. With that said, I just cleared chapter 3, and uh, I should really point out that this was in mid-December 2017. I think I will only start uploading this in uh, 2018. Um, so I will have gone past... yeah. Uh, I just cleared chapter 3. I saw a hint of a mech. I saw Proto Omega's uh, trademark attack from Tina Saga. And uh, the plot just started moving quite a bit right about that point. Um, so I'm a little excited about that game again. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> well, anyway, so uh, I'm not ready to uh, well declare uh, Xenoblade Chronicles to a bad game or anything or just boring, but um, uh, I just discovered a new promising thing in it. Let's uh, let's say hello to Doug and Irina. I think uh, I think those are the ones we were meeting. Ah. I just look at the world though. Mm, so pretty. Oh, uh, yeah. By the way, I should probably also mention that uh, I'm currently uh, well recording using Windows 10, which means uh, Windows Update is a thing. It seems to currently only be downloading updates though, so um, should be safe. <laughs> Aha, we're looking progress, 5 out of 5. Achievement unlocked. By me. This place is our home now. We took the name from the city it was modeled after back on Earth. We call it New Los Angeles. Welcome to NLA. So it was that another survivor came to join our band of refugees. Together, we resolved to forge a new way of life here on Mira, come what may. New LA was our beautiful lie to ourselves. Truth is, we were adrift, heading into the unknown. Our native home was gone, swallowed in a shroud of light. And our future was uncertain. We had no idea what fate lay in store for us. Only that we had to keep living in order to see it. have a title. Sweet. Shall we play the game then? <laughs> Override previous save data? Sure. of the facilities to refresh your memory. 
Let's start with your living quarters. Follow me. I thought this was where we were going to meet um, the arena. Oh well, maybe I was wrong. Today, I once again come to you with news I am truly delighted to share. Yesterday, we repatriated ten more White Whale crew members. These fellow pioneers will rejoin our ranks as citizens of NLA, bringing with them skills and know-how that will bolster our ability to survive and indeed flourish here in our new home. This, of course, is only the latest success in our continuing efforts. Director General? Since when? For the rescue and recovery Two of days ago, ma'am. From political aid oh. to oh, look, there General are. in just a few <laughs> weeks. At this rate, he'll be Emperor by next month. Irina? Gwyn? Nice work out there, ma'am. Okay. So, uh, uh, let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Uh, well, I don't think it matters. I'll just uh, go with this one. Three of us were in the coalition forces together, specifically the Special Operations Heavy Armor Training Unit, aka the Skeleton Crew. I was a colonel and Arena a lieutenant. Gwyn was a more recent recruit. Of course, I keep telling them we don't need those old ranks anymore now that we're here. You're still colonel to me, ma'am. No reorg will ever change that. And that's not about chain of command either. It's about respect. You've earned it. And the award for bass kiss goes to... <clears throat> well, I'd remind you both the ma'ams aren't necessary if I thought you'd listen. This one of the survivors, ma'am? The survivor. I only found a single pod intact at Starfall Basin. Wait, what? What happened to ten more crew members? Come on, seriously. Shosan was never one to let the truth get in the way of a good speech. Still, every last survivor counts. You can call me Arena. I'm with the Interceptors. Me too. Same division. You can call me Mr. Evans. Or just Gwyn. All right, ma'am. We should be getting back to work. Until next time, Colonel. Right. We should be going too. The administrative district isn't far. That's where you'll be calling home. For now, anyway. Now, about uh, this thing with Cho Son, or maybe uh, that's a creative spelling of Chosen, and uh, how he uh, slid on the truth, as they implied. Uh, by just saying, well, by saying that they found 10 uh, new uh, recruits instead of just um, the one that is myself. Um, I don't know if that's a Japanese thing, but um, here in Sweden, if we catch someone doing that in politics, we disapprove. So, uh, uh, by this point in the game, I tend to feel that, uh, well, we are in a sort of um, film noir kind of thing, where crime and corruption run rampant in um, the higher echelons of, of, the, of the command structure. Um, I am, well, I'm basically proven wrong at every turn. Hey Lucy, I can talk to you. Yeah, I'm the survivor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, so I think that's uh, basically some kind of hint of where we are where we are supposed to be going next. Although we do seem to have a hot spot over this way. Okay, I have successfully eavesdropped on a piece of, on a conversation, so that of course means I get um, an achievement because you know it's funny like that. Okay. Someone's fanboying over Arena. Um, I'm just going to pretend that's a Japanese thing. I know what exhaust smells like, and it was exhaust in the cockpit. Just check the ductwork, would you? Oh, I'm checking. I just seriously doubt. Hey, look at that. The intake exhaust bypass is reversed. Oh man, it's a good thing I caught that. You caught that? You're the one who cleared me to fly. Everything okay? It's not like you to flub a flight check, Lynn. Good thing you had a rugged pilot like Doug at the controls. Oh, hey, Elma. How'd it go out there? And would this be one of the you-know-whos? Cool. I'm Lynn Lee Koo, mechanic and top all-around fix-it gal for Blade. Hmm. Okay. So, do we ask about her age, or do we worry about the exhaust? Um... I, uh, yeah. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Um, well, I think I went with the exhaust the last time, so. Ask about her age. Because we're classy. She's 13, and I know, she looks young, and she is young, but trust me, she's one of our top talents. Most of the time, that is. Most of the time. Anyway, you guys heading back to the barracks? Yeah, why do you ask? As long as you're here, why don't I take you on the transport? It's a great way to see the city. I'll give you the grand tour. That sounds like a great idea. All right, Doug, I think that'll be all for today. You can clean up here and dock the skell. What? Don't mind the exhaust. I'll take care of it tomorrow. Don't mind it? Wait, why am I cleaning up your mess in the first place? Lynn! Lynn! Okay. There we go. Awesome sauce. Uh, 
Um, hmm. Yeah, I think it's time to end the episode, uh, pretty much. Um, so, you know, I really have to say that I do really enjoy, well, appreciate, let us have, uh, I aesthetically approve of <laughs> the uh, design that uh, Monolith Soft uh, used for their futuristic uh, sci-fi games, both this and Xenosaga. I'm maybe not so fussed about the uh, clothing of the characters and the character models in general, but um, ah. I appreciate the uh, vistas, the vistas in this game. Hey. Looks very pretty to me. Okay, so um, yeah, that's that's it into the episode. Oh. Should I maybe... Uh, no, no. I will save it for, for the next episode. The uh, That's probably a fairly long cutscene anyway. A lot of things to deal with, so uh, until...